Gun violence has impacted way too many communities across the country, from a synagogue in Pittsburgh to a nightclub in Orlando to a movie theater in Colorado and way too many classrooms across the country. So we're here to introduce bills that promote common sense reforms to reduce gun violence in our country. We can all agree so much gun violence in our country, but what can we do about it? Well, Democrats in Lansing want universal background checks for all people looking to own a gun. They call it common sense. So they're introducing new bills that would require background checks for all firearm sales. Right now, the law only requires checks for people buying pistols. Welcome back. All right, let's introduce right now one of the main sponsors of this bill, Robert Wittenberg. He's a state rep, Democrat, representing the 27th District of Huntington Woods. I believe you're from. Thanks right. for being here. Mm -hmm. Next, uh, Senator Pete Lucido joins us again. He is against these background checks. He'll tell us why. Of course, uh, the good senators from Macomb County, Shelby Township. And you already met Bob Erie, the city attorney mm -hmm. for East Point, and Rick Ector, gun advocate. Representative, let me start with you. Reasonable background checks. I actually thought that if I buy a long gun, I don't have to go through a background check. If I had to buy some other kind of gun, I don't have to. Only pistols? That's the law now? That's the way it's written right now. So the legislation we have literally changes one word and it changes it from pistol to firearm so the process is already in place for pistols and what we say what we're saying is that it should be required for long guns as well so how many more guns would this bill encompass uh, I mean, a lot of more guns. I mean, it's going to be the paperwork's going to be off the charts. Well, it's not the, it's the same paperwork as that people already have to go through with pistols. But we want to make sure that if someone is going to buy a firearm, they should be legally able to purchase it. We want to make sure that criminals are not getting firearms, and so we already have it in place with pistols. We want to make sure that anyone who's buying a, a weapon in the this state is able to, you know. Is able to buy one. No psychological testing or anything like that? It's the same background check that you have to go through for a pistol that you would have to go through Is for a long gun. Is there any requirement that I have to take a course, a gun safety course, or anything like that? I, I would encourage that. But I that's would encourage not, I have that's my not CPL. That's, no, that's, I have my CPL, and so I, you know, I've, I've taken the class. We need to do more education because it is an epidemic in our state and across the country, and we have to address it. There's Senator, not an there's epidemic no, Senator, of people shooting people there's, with there's rifles. There's no question about it that we've, we've seen gun violence. We can go through every one of those. It's a tragedy in this country. A simple background check, which is just to make sure that guns don't get into the hands of criminals. You can support that, can't you? I can support I don't like gun violence. As the, the, the great state representative, the problem is... We have gone ahead and known, if you look at the statistical data that's out there, it's the handguns. That's why we have these background checks. It's not the long guns. It's not the shotguns. And in addition, if I just own a handgun, then he's right about the paperwork. It's there. The background check is there. But what about all those that are just hunters that only own rifles to do what they do, and that's take deer down? Wait are a second. Okay the the day, are you okay with a, a, a hunter who's got a felony on his record to be hunting with a, a gun? A well, hold on a second. Who said that? I mean, there's no statistical data that's going to say this is going to prevent the risk of harm to our society. In fact, to the contrary, having background checks doesn't stop people that are violent and doesn't stop people that are going to use guns for the wrong purpose. And if he says, yes, I can prove that, show me. I'm from Missouri, the show me state. All so, right. real, real quick, so we have, there's uh, Boston University just came out with their study that states that have implemented universal criminal background checks, uh, their homicide rates have dropped by 15%. Is it long guns or is it pistols? Ask the Universal oh. criminal background checks. Universal they, they doesn't say if it's all. a pistol or a long gun. But are you okay with They don't go into a bank with a They don't go into a bank with a shotgun to rob a bank. Are you okay with a felon going hunting with a with a rifle? I don't know, Charlie, and I'll tell you why. If the felon's going there just to kill a deer, bring it home to his family to feed it, instead of going on welfare, you damn right I am. Bob, Uri, let me bring you into this conversation mm -hmm. over here. It's if hard to get into the conversation with my friend Pete Lucido. I know. Hard to get a word in. You but, uh, County people, I get it. I understand that. <laughs> but let me ask you this, though. Um, other th this, this seems to be fairly reasonable. Can you support this type of legislation? I'm probably more middle of the road uh, on this issue. I just don't think that there is the data to support uh, uh, making background checks necessary for long guns. They are extremely... Here's what legislation does. Legislation says, here's the problem, and here's how we're going to solve it, okay? This does not solve the problem that we have because long guns are not used in crimes except very, very rarely. Add on that the bureaucracy that will be required, the expense, which I don't think that the, uh, uh, the bill 
identifies where the, the money is going to come from to pay for this, and the fact that the criminals who are really using guns aren't getting them legally anyway. So, Quite frankly, they're breaking into cars and getting them, but, but nevertheless. But, so, so do you believe that people could buy, should buy AR-14s without going through a background check? An AR-14 is just another gun that is shaped in a way that makes people feel uncomfortable. But they shouldn't have to go through a background check to purchase one? If they they're not used in crimes, then we shouldn't even worry about it. Let me bring in Rick Ecker yeah. here. Uh, if an AK, so if I buy an AK-47, what's a high-powered, high-powered, semi-automatic okay, weapon, okay, fine. you're telling me I, today in Michigan I don't have to do, go through a background check? If you're going to buy a rifle and you're buying it from a private sale, absolutely not. But uh, the, like, does that like, shock you? No, it doesn't shock me at don't all. You, because when you look at the incidence or the rate of people who are committing violent crimes with long guns, that's not an issue. Well, and, with and with respect to all the statistical data that's been done on the states with regards to these universal background checks, I mean, the point that they're pushing doesn't Sorry. absolutely hold any I, way. I agree at with all. them because it's not the individuals that are going to buy guns legally that are committing the crimes. It's the ones that are getting the guns illegally by way of black market and trade and stealing of the the firearms as it relates to the pistols that are committing these crimes. But, but and nice. that's background to the point. But, only to weed out, really, if you're a felon. What else, uh, Representative? Uh, if you're a felon. Adjudicated uh, as mentally ill. Uh, mentally There's, ill. I mean, it's a so very basic. That's, all right, it's, that's, all right, that's already illegal. That's so by already that rationale, illegal. though, people say oh, only you know, criminals don't, don't obey laws, law-abiding citizens. Then why do we have laws in the first place? Do the we have murder? Thing they we, want, you know, the we're not going to legalize all these other things because some people break the law. The only thing they want is to put the infrastructure together to put together a national registry of firearms. Long guns are not the issue. The issue is, is that on a national basis they're going to go state by state and create this de facto a, database a a which, which is illegal a, on the federal level. Trying to keep people safe. You have, do you have, do you have Republican support for your bill? Uh, we, we, haven't, we didn't get any Republican co-sponsors of this so legislation, but we've talked to some Republicans who are supportive of the idea. But it's, it may die if you don't get some Republican support. It right? should and, and by the way, Charlie, right. you do have to go through a background check to purchase an AR-15. You do? Yes. Well, you're not required by state law, though. You are not required. Go try to buy one and go not look. get a background check. Well, sure, check. they might All do right, that, but it's not required. Obviously, this debate will continue as well. All right, coming up, we're going to hear our, panel, our panel's final thoughts when we come back. All right, now it is time for final thoughts. Let's start with the East Point City Attorney Bob Erie. Final thoughts on these issues. Uh, final thoughts, you know what, from a larger philosophical perspective, uh, everything can be justified to control us by just saying it's going to keep you safer. And that's what we see happening. Some things will keep us safer, but we have to balance our civil rights and safety and, and reach that happy medium that is a common sense happy medium. That's what we need to struggle to do in the legislature. I always ask myself as a legislator, what question am I trying to answer? In this case, we're trying to curb or eliminate gun violence altogether. There is nothing regarding a background check that says gun violence will stop as a result of this. Providing information to an individual, 85% of the firearms that are sold, long guns as well as shotguns, are done by federal firearm dealers, which means they're already going through the paperwork. They have to follow federal law. To throw another layer into the state, there's a cost factor, there's a privacy matter, which I definitely, definitely don't like to see as well as, like Bob said, civil rights. I want my civil rights protected. Representative? We don't think that just one piece of legislation is going to solve all gun violence in the state. But if we continue to do nothing and hope that things are going to change, that's insanity. We have to do something, and it's incumbent upon us as legislators to make our state safe. And with the Gun Violence Prevention Caucus that we started, we are not anti-gun, we are anti-gun violence. And so we are trying to push through proposals that are going to keep our state safe. Just enacting anti-gun legislation for the sake of putting up another tally point on the board is not going to advance us forward. The long guns are not a problem, have statistically, and all the data goes to support that long guns are not an issue.